Hello ladies and gentlemen, today my name is Darian and we're going to be talking today about fragrances. I'm going to give you a lesson on fragrance. I'm going to give you a lesson on fashion. So if you like to look good and smell amazing, then this is going to be a great... Man, how much too smooth, man. <laughs> Let's get it. What's going on YouTube? It's your guy Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And on this channel, we talk about fragrances and fashion. So looking good and smelling great. I believe if you're going to look good, you might as well smell great. If you're going to smell great, you might as well look good. So if you like that kind of content or hearing about that kind of content, then man, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, take a quick second to hit the bell icon as well. That way you don't miss out when I upload future content on the channel. So on today, guys, we're going to be talking about my man Sarah collection. Man, Sarah is a fragrance house to me that is a good entry niche house for anybody that's looking to get into niche fragrances. They have some very accessible fragrances at some very accessible price points, comparatively speaking to most other niche houses. So when I delve into a house, I really delve into it. And I had a few Man Sarah's in my collection, but I started over the past couple weeks to acquire uh, more fragrances from this house. I have 12 in total. And today I want to rank those 12 in order from the one that I like the most to I guess the one I like the least. Now with that being said, there's none of these fragrances that I dislike, but I guess I'm more so giving my preference on the 12. So this is gonna be fun. I hope you guys enjoy this. So if you wanna see where I rank and how I rank my Mancera collection, then you know the routine, keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in, man. We're not going to waste any time. Let's jump right into the list. Again, I do want to say I have 12 offerings from the House of Mancera, and I don't dislike any of them. All of them I find to be very appealing. But again, I'm just going to give you my preferences from 12 to 1. So the first fragrance up, or in the 12th spot, I guess you would say, uh, this fragrance from Mancera is called Roses and Chocolate. And that's what the bottle looks like. Roses and chocolate. Now, the only reason that this one for me is in the 12th spot of the ones that I have is because you really have to, in my opinion, like chocolate to like this fragrance because the first five minutes or so is just chocolate. <laughs> That's all you get in the first five minutes of this fragrance. It's really hard to really detect any other notes for that first five minutes or so because the chocolate is so prominent in this fragrance but i'm telling you once it really starts after about that five minute mark to have some of the other notes really come out to the forefront to me it gets even better you start to pick up on some of the more citrus elements in this you get some a nice uh fruity core from peach you got some bergamot in here then it dries down uh to a, a nice kind of white musk which white musk and a lot of times give kind of this almost citrusy, lemony type vibe. So you get that on the dry down, nice musky cedar wood dry down, and you still have some of those florals hanging around. But it's a really, really nice fragrance. Again, especially after it starts to get into uh, the heart of this, where you start to get some of those florals and citruses to join in with the chocolate. Now the chocolate never goes away, but after the first five minutes, it really starts as the fragrance continues on to go more and more to the background. But it's really, really a beautiful fragrance from Mancera. But it comes in at the 12th spot in my collection. This one is Roses and Chocolate. All right, guys, I'm coming in at the 11th spot in my Mancera collection. And this one right here is Aoud Cafe, or Oud Cafe, however it's pronounced. Now, this one comes in at the 11th spot, just like the aforementioned Roses and Chocolate. You have to like coffee to appreciate this fragrance. Just like the uh, roses and chocolate fragrance, the first five minutes or so, all I can really pick up is the coffee. But again, just like in that one, these two fragrances are very similar in that once the fragrance really starts to dry down after those first five, 10 minutes or so, you're going to start to pick up on those fruitier elements. Now, this one has very similar notes to roses and chocolate. This one has peach. This one has black currant. You kind of get that tangy fruitiness from black currant, uh, but also in this one as well, you got the white musk on the dry down. Now, 
once this one gets all the way in the dry down, we're talking an hour or two in, you start to pick up on a nice warm ambery accord. And it works really, really well with the coffee because the coffee, like I said, with roses and chocolate starts to, the more this fragrance you wear it, uh, get deep down into your uh, tenure of wearing this fragrance, you're gonna start to see that the coffee really goes to the background and the more fruity floral elements start to come to the forefront but it is met by a nice warm ambery accord, which is really, really nice with that coffee. But I got some good ones on the list. This one can only make number 11. Uh, out of my man Sarah collection, this is Aoud Cafe. All right, guys, now coming in at the 10th spot, so this is my top 10. This one is from the exclusive or exclusive uh, collection. This one is called Jardine Exclusive. Jardine Exclusive. Now, there were three fragrances that I think that were released in this exclusive or exclusive line from Mancera. And this is one of my favorites. Now, this is a very interesting fragrance. It's just a citrus, kind of citrus fruity bomb uh, when you first, uh, in the opening of this fragrance with a little uh, nice gourmand touch of caramel. When I wrote, read the note breakdown on this one, I was very intrigued because you had all these uh, fruitier accords in the top, like pear, white peach, but again, you had that caramel as well, and that's a very, very interesting combination of notes. And that's what you get when you spray this fragrance. You're gonna get those nice fruity floral accords, but a nice, you know, welcome addition of something like caramel. So very, very interesting. For me, this one comes in at the 10th spot because honestly, I think for most of the offerings that I have, this is probably leans the most feminine. Now again, you guys know I don't have a problem wearing that kind of fragrance because, you know, I can wear it. But by the same token of the other offerings, this one comes across the most and leaves the most feminine. Although I still really like it, the florals and the, uh, the fruity accords really dominate this fragrance. But nonetheless, it is a beautiful one. It dries down to a nice, uh, nice creamy vanilla sandalwood dry down. Beautiful fragrance, but again, I got some bangers on here. So the 10th spot goes to Jardine Exclusive. All right, now coming in at the 9th spot, this fragrance was released in 2017, and this one is called Black Vanilla. Black Vanilla. Now, you notice that most of the fragrances from the Mancera collection, uh, the bottles look different. This is when they started to kind of change the bottle styles uh, on the Mancera fragrances, so they look a little bit different from the previous offerings that I've shown. But anyway, nonetheless, this one comes in at the ninth spot for me. It's really, really nice, but it's really about, to me, I get just really some nice florals and vanilla. That's really, it's not as, as interesting as some of the other fragrances that are higher on this list, but nonetheless, it's an absolutely beautiful scent. What I like about this one, uh, you get that peach uh, like you get with uh, the other offerings that I've mentioned. I think everything so far has had peach listed as a note. So you get that nice, juicy uh, peach in the beginning of this one, but it is met with some coconut. And generally speaking, I like coconut most of the time in fragrances, and I like the way the coconut is used in this one. But like I said, after that, it's just kind of a, a fruity floral uh, fragrance with a nice uh, muck but with a nice vanilla dry down. So again, it's nice, but it can only make the nice spot. This one is called Black Vanilla. All right, now coming in at the A spot in my top uh, Mancera fragrance collection, this one is Aoud Blue Notes. Aoud Blue Notes. Now, I really, really like this one. When I wore it, on the dry down, it started to remind me of a designer fragrance that I really, really like and that is uh, Burberry Touch. And when I look at it, I think that's really coming from the violet or violet leaves in this fragrance. That's a very prominent note in uh, Burberry Touch. So if you've never put your nose on Aoud Blue Notes, again, once you start to get into the dry down of this, it does remind me a lot of Burberry Touch. And of course, you guys know I love that fragrance. Now, it's not an exact clone. This just on the dry down, they do resemble. Uh, one another quite a bit, but this has a nice woody vanilla dry down. It has, uh, I think, cedar wood, but it also has gaiac wood in this and leather. So really, really nice fragrance right here. And it comes in at the A spot in my Mancera collection. Again, the name of this one is, is Aoud Blue Notes. 
All right, and coming in at the seventh spot for me in my Mancera collection is this one right here, one of the most popular Mancera fragrances, and that is Instant Crush. Instant Crush. Now, I know a lot of people really love Instant Crush, and you would think, as much as I love Baccarat Rouge 540, which this fragrance does closely resemble, I'm not sure, and I can't quite put my finger on what it is about this fragrance that uh, doesn't allow me to like it as much as Baccarat Rouge 540. I think this one is a little bit more floral to me. I'm thinking that's what it is. Uh, but whatever the case, maybe a little bit sweeter as well. It may be a little bit more sweeter with some like vanilla uh, florals, florals and sweetness with vanilla that maybe gives us a little bit different uh, overall vibe than I get from Baccarat Rouge 540. But I do like it. It is a beautiful scent. But again, just in my Mancera collection, I'm finding a, a liking, a little bit more of a liking to some of the other ones uh, besides this one. But again, it's good. And that's why I did come in at the seventh spot. This is Instant Crush. And coming in at the number six spot, this fragrance is one of the, also one of the more popular uh, Mansell fragrances. This one is called Red Tobacco. Red Tobacco. Now, Red Tobacco is a lot different from anything else that I've talked about on this list so far today. This one, uh, comparatively speaking to all the other Mansell fragrances that I've talked about today, goes in a completely different direction from everything else. This one has some saffron, it has tobacco. It really honestly reminds me uh, kind of of Carlisle from Parfum de Marley. And I think uh, for me what it is is it reminds me of Carlisle, but to me it's not as good as Carlisle, at least to my nose. And maybe in the back of my mind, I'm kind of holding that against this fragrance to some degree. Now don't get me wrong, it does smell great, but when I start really you know, looking at my overall collection, I think I prefer to go to other houses, maybe like Parfums de Marley for something like this, uh, then this one will prefer those than something like this from uh, Mancera. But again, it is a good fragrance. I do like it. It's well done, well put together. Beast mode performance. But again, I have five others that I like more than this one. So again, the sixth spot goes to this one, which is Red Tobacco. Now get some coffee in here. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have entered the top five and coming in at the fifth spot on this list, this one is Aoud Lemon Mint. Aoud Lemon Mint. This one comes in at the fifth spot on the list. This fragrance is very interesting. It has, as the name indicates, a lemon. Now, I never pick up on any mint, so I'm not really sure where that came from, but nevertheless, it definitely has lemon and it definitely has oud. Now, what's interesting about this fragrance, the opening to me is very interesting because <clears throat> you definitely get the lemon, but you also get a very spicy kind of peppery uh, vibe in the opening of this as well. And you get a nice creaminess that's provided from a, an almond note. So it's very, very interesting in the opening. Now, the dry down to me, it really becomes about, you know, amber, oud, and leather. So very much a contrast from what you get in the opening of this fragrance but it is a beautiful scent none the least and it's one that i really really enjoy and that's why it comes in at the fifth spot for me this one is called aoud lemon mint all right guys now coming in at the fourth spot for me in my mancera collection and this is one that i don't hear as much talk about it i think there should be more talk about this fragrance because i really really like this one this one is called lemon line lemon line and as you would probably guess from the name of the fragrance, there's a lot of lemon in the opening of this. But man, I'm telling you, what I love about it is once you get past that lemon, you really get into a fragrance that is going to remind you somewhat of a fougere. It starts to resemble a fougere. Now, it does have lavender in it, so you start to get that really clean uh, vibe that lavender usually lends to a fragrance DNA. But you also have, uh, in the dry now, there's some oak moss, and that's where you get that kind of really kind of masculine barbershop, similar kind of bar barbershop kind of vibe you get with the oak moss and the lavender in this fragrance. But the opening is so fresh. It's just a very bright and vibrant lemon note in the opening of this, and that kind of stays with as the fragrance starts to, you know, uh, transition to the, the heart and dry down. It goes to the background, but it stays around. Uh, 
throughout the duration of the wearing of this fragrance, but man, this is a really, really good one. When I first spray it, it kind of reminds me of George Off Neo. Um, and I really, really love this stuff, man. Again, I think there should be more talk about lemon lime because this is a good one. So if you're a guy that likes those barbershop kind of fragrances, imagine a nice, bright, fresh lemon opening. This is just something that kind of dries down to kind of like a fougere with a nice lemon in the background. This stuff is really, really good. That's why I made the fourth spot on this list. This is lemon lime. All right, guys, now coming in at the third spot on this list, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. This one right here is called Sicily. This is Mancera Sicily, and if you like citrus fragrances, you have to put your nose on this one. This is honestly one of the best citrus fragrances I've ever put my nose on. It's, it's really high up there on the list. This has a melange of citrus notes, just kind of all packed into one fragrance, and it kind of gives you like this nice, clean, musky dry down. Beautiful fragrance right here. Again, if you like citrus notes, if you like citrus fragrances, I'm sorry, then you have to put your nose on Sicily. I think it has pineapple, pear, peach. I mean, you name the fruit. It's probably in this, and it's just an absolutely gorgeous citrus fragrance. And it does well on the performance side, too, uh, for a citrus-based uh, fragrance. But man, if you like citruses, got to put your nose on this. My number three Mansell fragrance. This is Sicily. All right, guys, now coming in at the number two spot, this one is called Black Gold. Black Gold from Mancera. And just simply put, this is just my kind of fragrance. Now, I'm gonna say something. This is not a clone by any means, but the way this fragrance is constructed, it reminds me of one of my favorite fragrances, which is Creed Original Santal. Now again, <clears throat> I wanna be clear, they don't smell the same, but they're constructed in a very similar way. What I love about Original Santal is such a fresh, fragrance in the opening, again, because you got that nice lavender. Same thing with this, you have a very nice, clean lavender, kind of citrusy lavender opening, but when you get to the, to the heart, you start to pick up on those nice, very warm, spicy notes like cinnamon, which again is a note that you find in Original Santal. This one has cinnamon, it has nutmeg. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, man. In the heart, dry down, you get some leather uh, in this one as well. This is just a nice fragrance. This is just, you know, one that for a guy like me, a gentleman, this is one of the more gentlemanly scents from the collection that I put my nose on so far. So I love this scent, man. It's fresh, it's clean, but it's masculine as well. I really, really enjoy this one. That's why it comes in at number two, in my opinion. This one is called Black Gold. And coming in at the number one spot, needs no introduction, is this one right here. It's the Drop Boise. So drop boise. Now, sometimes we become a prisoner of the moment when, as it relates to fragrances. We do that a lot. Not just me, I'm sure. A lot of folks do this. Sometimes when we get newer fragrances in our collection, of course, they tend to get more of our attention. And honestly, out of all of these Mancera fragrances, this was my first Mancera purchase. And what I noticed that I started to do is I started to wear some of the other Manceras. I kind of started to forget about Cedrat Boise. And as I just started looking at the collection before I, you know, gave this one another go, I started to say, hmm, do I like some of these better than I like to drop Boise? But on purpose, before I did this video, because, you know, I've had this one the longest, I wanted to go back and wear it and revisit it. And last week I put this on and it reminded me why, hands down, of the Mancera collection, my Mancera collection, this is number one. Of course, I don't, I don't even want to mention it, but of course it has that, it reminds you a little bit of, the, of Creed Aventus, but again, I did a comparison video on this and Creed and some other fragrances that people say remind them of Aventus, but this does its own thing, and I like what it does. When I wore it, it reminded me why, hands down, this is my favorite fragrance from the House of Mancera. This is Shadrat Boise. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video as I went through my 12 Mancera fragrances in my collection and I ranked them from 12 to 1. What are some other great Mancera fragrances out there? Leave some comments down below and let me, let me know what you guys like uh, of your Mancera fragrances as you put your nose on and also what did you think about the 12 that I have in my collection?
As I always say, I appreciate your time and attention to this video because of course I know you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you took a few moments to watch this video and I sincerely appreciate that. Now don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and share these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information. Oh, they might just find it entertaining because I'm your guy, Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.